Hello and welcome back to Project Luxury. From the ancient Silk Road that connected mighty continents to a cutting-edge football stadium that doubles as a shopping haven and a massive water transfer plan designed for the next 40 years, China is demonstrating its commitment to engineering, creativity, and space. Let's explore some of the largest mega-projects still under construction within the Belt and Road Initiative in China. China, known for preserving culture and honoring ancestral traditions, took a significant leap in 2013 when President Xi Jinping unveiled an ambitious plan to revive the ancient Silk Road. This historical trade route, centuries old, was a network of roads where the Chinese traders journeyed to exchange silk and other goods connecting Asia and Europe. The Silk Road, which was instrumental during the days of the Roman Empire, facilitated the transport of oriental silk to Europe and played a crucial role in the historical exchange and spread of valuable goods across continents. The route remained active until 1453 CE, when the Ottoman Empire halted trade with the West. President Xi Jinping's 2013 initiative aimed to resurrect this ancient route, renaming it to the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. The BRI comprises two main components, the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. The Silk Road Economic Belt encompasses regions that are home to nearly 3 billion people, making it the world's largest market with unmatched potential. China's vision for this initiative includes extensive investments and development, with an estimated expenditure expected to reach a staggering $1.3 trillion by 2027. The Belt and Road Initiative is not just about trade routes. It reflects China's dedication to engineering, creativity, and global connectivity. The initiative includes various mega-projects that underscore China's commitment to infrastructure development and international collaboration. These projects range from revitalizing historical trade pathways to creating modern transportation networks and enhancing economic integration across continents. China's investment in the BRI is poised to reshape global trade dynamics and economic landscapes. By investing heavily in infrastructure and developing along these routes, China aims to foster stronger economic ties, enhance connectivity, and promote mutual growth among participating countries. The Belt and Road Initiative symbolizes a modern renaissance of the ancient Silk Road, blending historical legacy with contemporary ambitions to create a vast economic belt that connects nations and cultures. China's Belt and Road Initiative is a visionary effort to revive the ancient Silk Road, transforming it into a modern network of economic corridors and trade routes. This initiative highlights China's commitment to global economic integration, infrastructure development, and fostering international cooperation. With significant investments planned, the BRI is set to become a cornerstone of global trade and economic growth in the coming decades, reflecting China's pivotal role in shaping the future of international commerce and connectivity. The Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium was set to be a monumental architectural achievement aiming to surpass FC Barcelona's home stadium as the world's largest top-level professional football venue. Designed by American architect Hassan Syed and located in Guangzhou, the stadium's design was inspired by the city's nickname as China's Flower City. China's construction of the lotus-shaped stadium commenced on April 16, 2020, with plans for it to become the future home of the Chinese professional club Guangzhou FC. Projected a cost approximately $17 billion, the stadium was envisioned to accommodate 100,000 spectators, offering an unparalleled football experience. It featured 160 VIP boxes designed to immerse fans in the excitement of sports and entertainment. More than just a sports facility, the stadium aimed to be a multifaceted destination that seamlessly blended sports with leisure and cultural experiences. The project aimed not only to set records in seating capacity, but also to uphold the highest global standards. It symbolized China's football's rise to prominence on the international stage, with completion originally scheduled for the end of 2022. However, the ambitious plans for the stadium faced setbacks when Evergrande Group, facing severe financial difficulties as the world's most indebted developer, withdrew from the project in September 2021 
Despite initial claims by Evergrande that construction would continue amid financial troubles, reports indicated a three-month halt in construction. By November 2021, the Chinese government intervened, taking control of the stadium and exploring options to sell it to another entity or transfer ownership to a state-owned group. Ultimately, in the wake of the 2022 Chinese property sector crisis sparked by Evergrande's financial woes, the project was canceled. Unfortunately, despite the grand vision and initial construction efforts, it appears unlikely that the Guangzhou Evergrande football stadium will ever be completed. The project's cancellation serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges and uncertainties inherent in ambitious architectural and developmental endeavors on such a grand scale. Another colossal project in China is the South North Water Transfer Project, poised to revolutionize the country's water management landscape. Unlike Quick Fix Solutions, this endeavor is a multi-decade marvel that has spanned nearly 50 years from inception to initiation, with an anticipated 40 more years until completion. Initially proposed by Mao Zedong in 1952 to alleviate China's water scarcity issues, the project was officially launched in 2003, with a staggering budget exceeding $79 billion. Comprising three main routes, the Eastern, Central, and Western, the North-South Water Transfer Project ranks among the world's largest and most ambitious water diversion schemes. By its projected completion in 2050, an impressive 44.8 billion cubic meters of water will flow annually, connecting China's major rivers, the Yangtze, Yellow River, Hai, and Huai. This initiative transcends mere water redirection. It symbolizes the integration of China's hydraulic systems through meticulously planned routes spanning the eastern, central, and western regions of the country. Estimated to cost approximately $62 billion, this expansive project exceeds even the controversial Three Gorges Dam in scale and impact. Stretching an astounding 4,350 kilometers, it is expected to benefit over 500 million people showcasing China's unparalleled commitment to engineering prowess and sustainable development. Chongqing Metro represents another ambitious engineering marvel in China, threading its way through the dynamic Sichuan province and offering a journey through both history and modernity. The metro system reached a significant milestone in December 2022, with the unveiling of its network consisting of 12 lines spanning a total of 58.96 kilometers. These lines are not just routes on a map. They serve as vital connections linking communities and cultures across the region. Chongqing's metro story began in 2005 with the approvals of Lines 1 and 2, and Line 1 commenced operations in September 27, 2010. Over the years, the system expanded rapidly, evolving into a complex network of 12 subway lines and one light rail. Phase 3, introduced in 2016, added five new lines, solidifying Chongqing's metro status as the fourth largest subway system globally by 2019. The fourth phase, launched subsequently, introduced eight additional lines, and the ongoing fifth phase, initiated in 2023, promises a substantial expansion with 10 new lines, covering nearly 1,999 kilometers. By the end of 2024, Chongqing's rail transit network is projected to sprawl over 700 kilometers, marking a significant contribution to urban transportation infrastructure. Looking ahead, China aims to integrate artificial intelligence, or AI, into the Chongqing metro by 2025, enhancing operational efficiency and maintenance with AI-guided systems. This initiative underscores China's commitment to technological advancements and innovation in public transportation. Chongqing Metro is pioneering AI maintenance robots as well, a groundbreaking development set to revolutionize metro operations and elevate the system into the realm of artificial intelligence. Chongqing Metro stands as a testament to China's prowess in urban rail infrastructure, blending extensive network operations with cutting-edge technology to meet the growing demands of transportation in one of China's most vibrant regions. The Chongqing Kunming High Speed Rail Project is a major infrastructure initiative expected to span billions in cost, transversing the Three Gorges Dam designated to accommodate bullet trains traveling at speeds up to 350 kilometers an hour. 
The rail network is part of China's extensive high-speed rail system, which already covers approximately 40,000 kilometers with its eight vertical and eight horizontal network. The Chongqing Kunming High Speed Railway alone spans over 1,600 kilometers, significantly reducing travel time between Chongqing and Kunming from 20 hours by conventional train to an anticipated seven hours by high speed rail. Another significant ongoing project in China is the Hainan International Tourism Island Project. Situated in the South China Sea, Hainan Island is China's second largest island after Taiwan. The project, initiated by the China State Council in 2010 and formally launched in 2011, boasts an estimated investment of around $50 billion. Overseen by the Hainan provincial government and various governmental agencies, along with international corporations including major hotel chains and theme park operators, the project aims to transform Hainan into a premier international tourism destination. Haikao Mailan International Airport serves as the main gateway to the island and is undergoing expansion to accommodate the project's anticipated influx of tourists. The capital city of Hainan is Haiku, with Sanya being its largest city. The Hainan International Tourism Island project is slated for completion by 2025, although ongoing development is expected to continue beyond that date. These ambitious projects underscore China's commitment to infrastructure development and economic growth by enhancing connectivity, attracting international visitors, and fostering new industries. These initiatives aim to stimulate local economies and promote sustainable development. As these projects progress, they are expected to significantly benefit their respective regions, contributing to China's continued economic diversification and prosperity for years to come. That was all from us today for this video, folks. For more similar content, subscribe to the channel.